Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I feel more tired than normal, even though I've been awake for longer than usual. So, uh, you know, if I make any misplays, it's not on me, it's on uh, you, actually. You're the reason. Let's get to it. I I haven't played Force in a while, and I kind of do want to play Force. I've, had, I've been experiencing... Oh, fuck, I didn't turn off the... I didn't turn off Complex Hard. Oh, well, whatever, we'll work, we'll work through it. Uh, no randoms, at least. During fights 6 through 10, all heroes' death is permanent. <laughs> uh, hmm. Death shield is pretty fucked up. Let me go... I think I can turn off Complex Hard and then reroll this, actually. I've been wanting to play Magical more. I have been seeing a lot of people tell me they think Magical is super broken. And I think Magical is bad because you can have some really doomed starters. Let me paint you a little picture. My run of Magical recently was uh, first character student, first pick Priestess Fey, who I took Priestess for, second pick Enchanter Glacia, right? Now, it may not seem too bad, but that team, if you walk into Bramble, depending on who your starting orange is, like if you have Scoundrel in that team, I think you might just numerically be unable to kill Bramble. Uh, and I think that it's not crazy to see starting picks like that where you get like uh, double red and then red plus bad blue. Maybe that team, I, I need to see that worst case. I'm, I'm going to click some magical basically is my feeling. And, like, this team will never die to Bramble, which is nice. And we got an okay opener, although I think Initiate's kind of garbage. But I think this team gets to start... Getting to start with Spade is very good, because Spade is God. So, I don't know. I'm skeptical of this team still. I think that there are going to be some Doom cases you can run into. But I'm willing to try it out. Now, how bad... How bad is top blank for the later section of the run? That's what I want to know. Fine. Pretty bad. Fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. So it's like moderately bad for orange. I need to look at the reds. It's pretty bad because it cuts off profit, but the rest of them don't really care. And then it does fuck up Warlock. Wizard doesn't care. Weaver's whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid this. I think it messes up too many of the ending blues. I will play Add Goblin. I just think it's a little scary because if I'm arguing that this team is weaker early, uh, Goblin is tough. However, to be fair, we have the early game God, the man himself. So I'm not too afraid. And I'm a little more afraid now. But with Spade, I am down. All I'm, all I'm saying, you see this starting turn? My turn one, I played one dice. It can happen a lot with this team comp. That's my main reservation. But I don't know for sure, so maybe I will uh, be proven wrong, which would be cool. I love learning. I'm gonna bank my three mana here. And again, very important, if I just get Herbalist, I think it's gonna skew my opinion quite a bit as well. It's been happening to me a lot lately of, oh, I don't know how good this is. I guess we'll just play it and see. Oh, there's Herbalist. Well, looks free, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Sure does look pretty easy when they just hand me Herbalist. Sheesh, I'm starting to think that character's pretty good. All right, good. I mean, Juggler is also very good here. I don't even care about Juggler into these thorns. This character is a menace. In like, in a good way. She's, uh, she's very good. I do have to be careful. I, I guess I can't lose because I have Spade. But I do have to be careful that I don't just lose two thorns. It can happen. So you, we just have to trade Juggler's life away like that. And as soon as one dies, I think the other one runs, yeah. Sorcery Notes, Emerald Shard, I... Am I strong enough to take this? Because Sorcery Notes, Emerald Shard, I do want Emerald Shard, actually. 
Adding a second boar and a goblin? I think it's too risky. Cheating slaves is fine. You could also go tattered robes here if you like. Hey, you know what? I should probably go tattered robes because it's good on a lot of greens. And it's good for our initiate now. The big issue I think this party faces is that it does have a green in it. I... I'm trying to get over my bias a little bit. I've been thinking maybe they're not as bad, but you know, it's uh, I should roll for the cane trip, I guess. It's fine. It's a hard one to swing. Hmm. I can burst defensively. It's not so bad. A lot of nothing coming out of heal or gardener on turn one, but I guess that's to be expected in a multi-red party. I'll roll. No way you double X. I think I'm gonna not land or not end on rolling with initiate. I'm gonna make sure I get my mana because I don't want to get embarrassed by an X here. I should poison this boar. We're gonna be in this fight for a while. But, I suppose we can play around our juggler as our main game plan. I just, I don't like to play around uh, blues because I think there are like two good blues for the mid game. But, hey, you know, we get juggler and everything's fine. Druid presence. Well, this one's pretty easy. Again, I true I have come around a lot since the tier list video. One comment made me open my eyes. Spade is like... He's he's the god. You just can't lose with this guy. He's maybe too strong. Is it possible? Could he beat Goku? Maybe. It's it is plausible that he could beat Goku. Uh, because like you know you lose a character here, Initiate dies, and then Initiate just automatically gets back up. And in the worst cases, you just get. Uh, to heal every turn, which is also fine. Nice healing. I agree. What are they doing to you, buddy? They're fucking killing you. I suppose I will actually just go first and then block the boss. Because it's going to take a while. Without Spade here, though, I mean, I guess I would only be down one character. And Spade, the downside is that you're not getting to do uh, real damage with Spade ever, but the actual downside is I bait myself into re-rolling too much with this character, thinking, oh yeah, well I gotta roll for something better than this, right? There's nothing better than revive, it's all he does is revive. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, I should pretend. I should act like I know what I'm doing. Oh, I forgot. That's my fault. That one's on me. I You gotta save Juggler's HP there. That is my bad. Takes notes. Bro, this druid is uh, sitting here learning from a shovel. Just going, oh shit, how'd he do that? How did he do that? Good question, good question. I also think Gardner is super good early on. Uh, I, you know, fuck it, sure. This is just student. You think you can trick me? This is student. One reuse side, two one mana sides. He has a charge side, I guess, but like, you can't trick me. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take tower. Actually, no, I'm gonna take Garnet here. I think Garnet is okay. Maybe it'll do something cool for us in the long run. Double red means maybe I go for a plus one to incoming healing and get something cool out of it. I don't know what I'll get out of it, but maybe I'll get something. Juggle. Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna save Jaguar. I guess I could just double mulch here. And then I need to burst on Jaguar? Or, you know what I can do here? I can balance. I just need to make sure that Jaguar doesn't die to one Caltrop roll. And I guess balancing is fine, because it gets us one damage closer to killing. Alright, Jaguar, this is your time. Here comes the pop-off. Here comes the pop-off. Well, I gotta say, 
That seems pretty unlikely. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think that's right. It's okay. We have spade. It's all good. We have a spade. I guess it's my fault for saying goodbye to initiate, huh? This is kind of on me, but look at that. We got our double use. What more could you want? First, first. You're extremely gone. You're so dead. It's okay. We're almost out. Juggler! Juggler! There you go. That's called variance. Are you a gardener? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, herbalist. Well, if you insist, I suppose I could play herbalist. Oh, man. I don't know. It's a tough call. Herbalist? Really? You want me to play this character? Are you sure? It's a tall order, but I guess I could do it. Man, I just, I hate being able to allocate my damage accurately. It's so annoying. I hate being able to just do one and then kill a guy. Although, I guess I'm actually gonna burst mulch to save this B1. I don't want him to die. I'm not really too afraid of dying in this fight. That, that's just lethal. Good enough. Poem. Um, someone did say on the tier list that Poem is a little bit better for yellows because there's a lot of bees in yellows and there's a lot of bee-based enemies, which is fair, but I'm just not going to do that because I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I will take a random. Smelly manure? Ah, oh, fuck, where's spine? Someone bring me spine, quick. The other thing I thought about with smelly manure when doing the tier list video, though, is I think it works pretty well with, um, mushroom. Well, not pretty well, but it works okay with mushroom if you're playing it. So I'm willing to give it another, another look here. I should lock that, too. That's a silly one. No reason to just whiff like that. I'm not gonna lock the first two, and I'm also not gonna lock two damage here. Health drops. Ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. My juggler's having a bad time. It's okay, mm. buddy. I believe in you. At least we can mulch off of it. That's kind of nice. Alright, juggler. Now is your time. Man, my juggler has been having a rough go of it. There you go. It might be me. Maybe I'm just not locking correctly. I don't know. Scary. But fine. Uh, sure. It's all good. I'm not afraid of a single slimer. I should- I need to be- because I didn't do it there. I need to call myself out. I need to be looking actively at juggler. Because I'm not doing it. Nah, hold on. That was lethal, but I want to get the gross value. There you go. Better, right? Maiko statue. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Uh, it's gotta be statue. I am not willing to play Maiko. Although, it's not terrible, but statue with the robes is alright. Hey, you can have the smelly manure, because you stink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a whole lot of uh-ohs. Oh, here. Oh. The good news is statue does make fighting a little bit easier against Gaitha. I need to keep my juggler alive, though. Two, yeah, so I set Magrat to dying but not dead. I can leave Gaitha because the statue is here, and statue will just absorb the heavy hit. Juggler, wake the fuck up. 
Uh, I'm gonna lock this regen because I think if I roll an X here, I can lose the game. Oops, that was a fat finger, my fault. This is good. What are you dying to? Just plus one and one. Yeah, so we're gonna go like this. Regen on the juggler should make my life a little easier. And I think I want to play balance. You're middle. Ah, uh, so you know what? Let's go two damage to Agnes here. I want to try to not lose anyone, and if I set Gaitha down to one, my juggler can juggle right into her. And then kill my B1. Well, juggler. Just as I foretold. Well, juggler. Hilarious. Hey, you know what? He just fucking dies anyway. I could save him, but I gotta tell you, at this point, it's starting to get a little scary if I go for that save. I'm just gonna let him die. Gaitha is chaining Weaken on me, which is very unfortunate, and someone needs to kill her. Because I am not allowed to play the game right now. I don't think I lock the one, because it doesn't let me kill anything. It has to be rolled for a two. Thank you. I lose my herbalist here. So it's just going to be juggler statue. Or sorry, I lose my druid here, so it's just going to be juggler statue. Uh, it's... oh, it's bad. I guess the weaken is okay, because juggler doesn't get to self damage, but these two are just, like, completely out. We gotta go for a kill. I said it would be fine to keep Gaitha alive, and theoretically it was, but Gaitha has rolled these sides four times in a row, which I would have to say is unlikely. Now you shouldn't even bother rolling this. All I'm saying, I think that four, it's four, right? Because it was, yeah, it was turn one, she rolled a heavy, and then four turns of weaken. I have to call that unlikely, because what else can you call it? There we go, we finally break out of the loop. And now we're clear. Uh, Gaitha won't even kill my statue because it's middle and it's only two damage. There you go. And we made it. But that was a good look at why you should just kill Gaitha. Because she just sits there and spams weaken sometimes. And that's honestly worse than poison. This is glass blade for statue. And statue kind of pops off here. Don't oh, mind. The statue unit is kind of busted now. We're just going to roll down for uh, glass blade on statue every time now. Oh my god, these rolls have been atrocious, man. This shit has been so bad. What are you dying to? Joey Bones? What are you dying to? Just a Bones. And then it's double a weakened herbalist. He's just dead. I don't know. I feel like my juggler has been having a bad go of it. I can't tell for sure, but I never like to blame RNG in this game because I feel like there's always something I could do. Like, I could lock this too, but I think that's paranoid. It's going to happen sometimes where you go 2 into XX. It shouldn't happen, though. And I should be netting... Actually, you know what? It has to be like 2-1-1. One, one. Maybe it's not that likely because I'm coming out even here. Which I wonder if it's worthwhile. Mm, if I let this juggler die, I think I'm done for. So this is the way. And then hopefully juggler doesn't just explode here. Hilarious. Very funny. Ah, thank you, statue. Someone woke up today. This goes here. This goes here, and then goes on. This team comp should be doing very well. The problem is that I have been stuck on a shitter blue for the whole game. They finally let me play a real one, but... Uh, it was just an icky early game for sure. Man, juggler, just kill yourself. Hmm, wow, you lived. I don't know what else to say though, buddy. Just like, get the fuck out of here. Wow, and you can't even do that, huh? I am a little worried about this spiker, and by a little I mean quite a bit. Uh, it's just like, look at what I'm doing on these turns, man. I, I hit this goblin for three? Surely there's better things to be doing. 
chop juggler. You keep it up. Oh yeah. You can't let a bad string sour your opinion though. Like it's been a bad day for team juggler, but that doesn't mean I think juggler is suddenly bad now. Juggler is doing what juggler does best, which is fucking everything up. <laughs> Uh, but I still think the character's strong. It's just a lot more noticeable when Juggler fucks up when she's your only plan. And now that we have Caldera Druid Herbalist, it's a little bit better. But, oh, Crystal Eyes. I think that does something. What did I think that does? I was going to do something with that with Smelling Manure, but that doesn't work. I still think it's very good. And for now, it just goes here. Uh, it's fine. I'm sure we'll pick something up for it later. Caltrop. X. One damage. There you go. You got the one. We'll take it. Uh, we want to kill the one. That, it was a one damage into an enemy that was already dead, though. So, very funny. I should help Juggler here and throw her a heal. It's important to stop her from... Uh, dying. And with two health she can go Caltrop and then hit into the Imp and die as well. If the Imp wasn't there I wouldn't heal though. I want to make sure that's clear. I lock one on one remaining. I'm going to continue to say I just think it's, I think it's more noticeable because we are relying on Juggler to do something here. That's why I think it feels worse than it actually has been. What are you hitting? Oh, you're hitting statue. It's just the, is the zombie and the goblin? Ooh. Less good for me. But, alright. They're kind of building up poison on statue, though. I don't want to alarm you. This zombie has been a fucking killer. My god. <laughs> my god. All five of my characters rolled and hit. I never thought I'd see the day. We should have lethal next turn. I'd be very shocked if we didn't. I'm, what, like four mana away? Or yeah, a few juggles or this. Just of note that it's getting close. Sparks. Oh, I don't think I can click on sparks. This team is too bad right now. And it's not getting any better. All right. Oh, you can't random at this point because if we random off of Druid Herbalist or if, God forbid, we random into like a green tier three, I think we're just gonna fall down. So I suppose you have to play Sharp Shot here and just live with it. Because importantly, in this team, I think you are unlikely to click on Kronos. Maybe you can, but I think Kronos is like a, man, my orange or my Green is doing something really broken here, neither of which are going to happen. So, sharp shot it is. Basically, I just think that if you first pick Kronos here, you're going to get obliterated by this fight. That's the short of it. I think, oh, never mind. I was about to say I think we're going to get obliterated anyway, but statue and sharp shot high rolled there. So, I will not complain. That was very fortunate. But, uh, I'm glad to see it. Got to lock the cleanse too, because it means Caldera is perfectly fine here now. Because I'm not quite lethal here, I think. Yeah, I'm just a little off. But, you cleanse Caldera for two, and then there's nothing that can happen to you here. It's just guaranteed. Nice shot. Longbow. You're right. Earn. Does it do anything interesting? Not really. I don't have any cool keywords. I think you're supposed to just take Ghost Shield here. Self Shield too. I think it's kind of underwhelming in this team, but I am not gonna be picky. As much as I want to click the random there, I actually think I need the incremental value. It's gross, because I would like to just click a random and go for something big, but I think we're having a bad time right now. Mm, I roll again. 
It's interesting though, because I do, I, I think this run feels really bad, but it hasn't, we haven't been, we almost died to the, the witches, I think, but everything else has been fine. I do think the witches was a little close, and I worry for our future, but we're really not that bad off. So, I don't know. I just, I feel like if your runs have, uh, like, close cases like this, it's just scary if you will roll super hard that your streak ends. Although, to be fair, I think I have been will rolling pretty hard anyway. So. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think... I will click on Twin. I actually don't think Twin is all that bad, if you can afford it, because we- and we have an, an item for Twin. This is basically like turning my green into a two mana per turn generator, and that's not so bad. I am gonna drop off on the glass blade, but in a run like this with Caldera, or like with a game plan based around the blue, I think you can click on Twin and be okay with it. Uh, if Caldera rolls me a one damage mana gain, that's probably just a win. Where's this put me? Two, four, five. I need one more mana. Thank you, twin. See? Told you. Pretty good. Uh, and then I'll just poison the bandit. Two mana in a run where we just need to make mana. I think it's good enough. Ooh, second chance twin is kind of sick, too. I like Dragon Pipe a lot for this team. Well, not for this team, but for the future. But I think Second Chance Twin might have to be the play. And then... Mm, you can do this and then just play the plus one mana for free. I think you're likely to get one reuse per turn out of the Twins now. And sometimes if we get very lucky, we'll get two. But sometimes we will also get zero. All of which is okay. Yeah, like this, sometimes we will get zero. Uh, what are you dying to? Actually, just getting one tap. Chompa seven? Holy. I didn't know that. And I'm just gonna kill it. Uh, this is wrong. Why is this wrong? You gotta break intangible here. There's no doubt. But then it becomes very difficult to keep this herbalist alive, or this druid alive, I mean. So maybe you just send it instead? Maybe maybe the play here is just kill your druid off. That doesn't seem right. It's really hard though to keep druid alive, and I think I need to give this fight a decent amount of respect. But also I can just stall until next turn. This is a very scary fight, though. These chomps are going to rip me apart, no doubt. I could roll down for the six kill. If I roll the kill from six, it's super good. Uh-oh. Okay, it's not so bad. It's just a little scary when you roll that first X, you know? Uh, I don't have any... So I need to give you five shield. Right? Or no, I need to give you four shield. And then you'll live. And I can go like burst, kill. Oh, you won't live. But that's okay. I'm gonna go kill here. And I think you just accept your death twin. It was almost a save. Let me see. What about if I just kill the other chomp? Probably right. Now we go burst, kill, ah, and then it just kills you, of course, and I am not saving twin to, to kill sharp shot. That's absurd. Of course. So we just go like three, however you want to do it, right? It always ends up the same. No, wait, no, it doesn't is incorrect. Oh no, it does always end up the same. 
<laughs> yeah, can, please, if you don't mind, go back, run the footage back, pause the video, and please comment whatever the fuck Twin just said there. Please, I want to see whatever the hell that was plastered all over the comments section when I looked this afternoon. I, I want to know what that just was. Okay, so it's burst, burst. Oh, it's not quite. It's burst vine. I hope it's exactly enough. I am not stalling this fight out, though. What fight is this? 15? This fight is fucked up, by the way. I want to make sure I make this very clear. This fight is absurd. That fight is so unbelievable. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't think you random here. I think you do take shaman. Because what if I random into ghast? Does the run just end? Maybe. Although, I have stasis for the weaken. I don't hate shaman. I want to make sure that's clear. I think that shaman is not as bad as I made her out to be. Especially in a double red. Having this consistent cleanse is very nice. I'm going to go for the random. Profit. I like that more. You think I want to give profit? Not really. Give you the plus healing, I suppose. I do kind of feel like I want to go uh, back to mana gain on twin, because it's very hit or miss. This is much more consistent. This is very all in, and I don't think it was all that good. It's just tough, because who do you want locking reuse on this team is the big question then. And the answer is not really anybody. So it's mostly just a an X catcher. There we go. Reuse. Are you just getting? Yeah, you're just getting your head bit off. Hmm. Yep. Nah. What? What? The one said for sure. I'm gonna start regening. This is. We're in profits territory now, so we're just gonna start building up. Oh God. I'm actually down for a little extra mana here. Yeah, yeah. The first copycat of my run. Sheesh. Took a little while. You know what? We can go first, first here, and it's the same outcome. Okay. If Tarantus just sits here and bites forever, I probably will still win. I'm just gonna be uh, spending all my mana bursting, pretty much. Also, I should probably just go for mana. Because now we can approach escape velocity. Once you get around 3 to 4 regen, it starts to be very hard to die. Although the spiders can give it a good go. Mm, I roll down. You should always roll for the mana on Herbalist. And that's all the reuse side is really, is more mana, huh? Nice shot. I don't have a source of cleanse for this team, do I? Probably gonna want to pick that up. That's why I should have taken Shaman for the cleanse. Because everyone else can make mana for Shaman to give you some nice cleansing value. But... I don't know, maybe I should have gone it. It's just an interesting thought, don't you think? Yeah, okay, we're gonna start going for Protorantis' throat now. I think it's time to get out of here. I should be uh, built up enough now. Although, there's no reason to uh, rush, basically. If he's just making spiders, I should just kill the spiders. Because if you go all in, he can kind of catch you out, I believe. If you just send it down, he can get you. But I am down to just go for a little double poison angle here. No, that's super wrong. Again, you gotta be patient. Give that spider a little max HP. 
He's earned it. There's no, but like, you shouldn't kill off your prophet there. There's no reason to. It's not like I'm getting anything for pushing Tarantus down faster. So we can just kind of continue to play slow. It doesn't matter how long this fight takes. And they randomed me in the prophet, so it is the answer. It's all we really have going for us, too, is uh, regen at this point. It's regen and it's sharp shot. And we pray that we get some sort of big boy combo to play into the hand. Because this team, I think, is going to struggle as is into the hand. Well, Prophet's getting uh, mowed down here anyway, so I don't mind killing on this turn. And then I should pull Lethal. Yep. Good enough. Goblin, Sniper, Sniper, Zombie. I do not have Druid for Caldera anymore. This is for sure Wax Seal, because Wax Seal is Omega broken here. Oh, baby. Hey, did someone say we need to do something broken for this run? Well, well, well. If it isn't twin. Don't mind if I do, buddy. Don't mind if I do. And... Alright, it's fine. So, you're dying to this sniper... Plus the zombie and the goblin. If I could kill the zombie... No, it's not the zombie, actually. What's killing Herbalist? Just another sniper? It's sniper plus wisp for you. And you're dying to zombies cleave. You just regen out of that. Burst here, burst here, I suppose. It's a long road, but the wisp being dead means that all of my... My turn is, like uncontested. I don't get fucked up by pain or anything. And snipers are pretty bad at fighting us because they're just going to single target. Try to kill us off. And that's not that big of a deal. Especially when I'm making this much mana now. Shot nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm. Zombie just gets bursted out. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's new in 3.0, but whenever I play the greens, I am like, I'm really happy to play Twin. I've been kind of thinking Twin might be the strongest of the tier 3 greens, actually. It's been very consistent that I do something crazy for this character, as long as you have anything for them when you pick them. I think they're pretty good. Would you play Sorcerer here? I think I wouldn't. The only thing in Sorcerer's favor is this. Because I'm not moving off of Tattered Robe Twin. Tattered Robe Black Seal Twin, specifically. There's no reason to make my run actively worse. So, this is a question of item economy. Sorcerer Wax Seal is good, but it's the same as Twin, more or less. You're going to get a little more mana on average. You could, I think... It's about expected to hit two manas on Sorcerer, so it's probably going to grant nine mana, but Twin is going to grant about six mana per turn, and the probabilities get into this as you like, but on average. So you're only really gaining three mana, and by doing this you're cutting Twin down to two mana expected instead of six. So at the end you're going to have 11 with Sorcerer Twin. Sorcerer does have the higher cap though, but I don't have any chance of pulling another item for him. And, oh, but you know what is different here? I could pull Silk Cape and Silk Cape. Well, if I get Silk Cape, it goes on Surgeon, I guess. I'm going to play Surgeon. The only thing for Sorcerer is that he holds second chance really nicely, and that's worth considering there. And you, the other item economy thing is I could play Glass Blade on Twin. The problem with Glass Blade on Twin is that it's only for the final fight, because it's very unlikely that Twin lives all the way. That's a very tough choice, though, I think. That's a hard one to really work out. This fight is very scary. It's only so because of the double poison out of the Basilisks, but 
I don't think this is a try to play it slow angle. I don't think I'm supposed to start hitting regen here. I think I need to hit the gas. We need to blow up the zombie quick. And then sharp shot's kind of fucked up here because I don't, again, I don't have cleanse. I didn't pick up any cleanse. That is going to probably be a long standing issue for us. I need to actually stop and look at my turn here. What are you dying to? Another? Jesus, man. That's a lot of poison. What are you dying to? Just imp. And you're dying to the demon. So it could be you're on 10. First burst. Shoot kills here. Uh, and then I suppose you swing into the Basilisk. And we could burst Sharp Shot. And then next turn, it's just going to be Prophet tries to heal Sharp Shot through this. That's okay with me. I actually think this turn is pretty good. Uh, you can reroll there for Twin, actually. Uh, it's only bad if you roll a 1, but I think it's fine to just let it be. This Basilisk high rolled the shit out of me. Ooh, close, buddy, close. Are you dying to Goblin? And then it's just this, right? It's fine, it's fine. I don't love being weakened here, but we can we can out regen basilisks. Once it's just the basilisks, basically once the demon died, I think this fight becomes much more me favored. I have a much easier time finishing this one off. Because now I can just counteract the poison. I only really lose out to petrify here in the long run. Because I can regen through poison. It's like its own sort of cleanse. So it's... This is actually just a perfect roll. Uh, no notes. And then reuse. And now give me mana again. That'll do. Scary though, for sure. Hydra, Hydra, Goblin. We're great into this. Ah, fuck, it is Silk Cape. Ah, shit. Man. Well, Silk Cape Sorcerer would have been super broken here, but you can't take this flyer for sure. Like, no matter what, you click on Silk Cape here because someone is taking Silk Cape Wax Seal. Probably not for this fight. I guess five mana is five mana, but I actually think it's bad. I don't think you should do it in this fight. You can do this for now. We're, it's most likely going to end up on Caldera, but I need full information of who the final boss is before I lock in on this. So I will wait it out, and we'll see what we get. Come on, twin. Yeah, whatever. So it's here into here. That's two... Three, four, five. And then I can do six. Which is not lethal, so we go burst, 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 because I'd like to keep the twins alive, and then I should kill this Hydra next turn. Three, four, five, yep. Twin is pretty good at fighting Hydra. Bork. It's the hand. Well, everybody, it's the hand. Come with me if you want to live. No blue really wants wax seal that much. It's for sure wizard here. If you use stasis, does it cancel the hand? It sure does. So this goes out. There's just, so there's a little something here we can do a little tactic. We can give Wizard a bunch of five perma boosts. 
And these are strong defensive options too. They're five shielding as well. If I had one more item slot, I could put a stasis on him and then this run is just done. I think this is okay. But I do wonder. Because what are you perma boosting for? You're probably perma boosting. Mm. It's hard because you can't really put a lot of stack, stock into twin. Because if he rolls a cleave or a seven to all, these guys are just gone. So you got to reconsider, perhaps. You can do this, but it's pretty underwhelming. You could do here, and then we can kill every single saber from 10. And that's not bad either, actually. Just shoot down every saber as they spawn. It's good if he spawns, and he has a decent chance of spawning. But... I don't love it. Hmm... I like the wizard idea because of the five shield that's associated with the perma boosting. So I think I'm going to end up trying this out. I don't know if it'll work out for me, but we'll give it a shot. This is what seems most reasonable. Oh, he's just killing Prophet. Interesting. That's, uh, I should say, not interesting. That's extremely good for me. That is exceptional. And then... If I had one more slot and I could put stasis on this guy, wouldn't that be something? Because then I could reuse the perma boost. We're going to perma boost him and then we're going to go plus 10 next turn. And that should be good enough. It's just important to know that I can't let someone who gets a perma boost die. Because if you let them die... Uh, they, they don't resurrect with a perma boost. But now next turn wizard gives me a plus 10 on someone. Yikes. It's probably surgeon, but let's see what we roll. You're always locking this four. You're always locking two. Hmm. I can lock this, and then I can just put a wall up for a wizard, but I really need to get more mana, I think. Hmm... I'll roll. Okay. That is most likely correct. The twins die, we get profit back. Three sabers, a moment of peace. I could perma boost the boss here. Tell me, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> uh, probably not. All right. Uh, I'm gonna lock this for mana gain. I think. Excuse me, surgeon. Oh, surgeon. It's okay actually, because we can go uh, double use. That's decent. Three swords. You're on 18 HP. Uh, we have a 13, a 17, this is a 13. It's reasonable, I think, to assume lethal here with this position. Uh, 14 plus 3 is 17. I'm off by 1. Still lock this. Thank you, Surgeon. I was about to be a little upset if we whiffed here. I'm not going to lie to you. I was not going to be very happy if I lost this one. Hey, right, GG. Interesting run. Very, very interesting. I think the note here is that Magical has a weak early game, and this is very similar to Mountain. It's very weak at the start of the run, and then at the end of the run, if everything went well, you should do something absurdly broken. Like this. Because you're playing around a blue, and blues, I think, have the highest chance of doing something just disgustingly game-ending. So, this party, I feel like, hinges a lot on if this character, your orange, is good or not. Was our starting orange good? Who was it? It was Thief, and it's fine. 
and also it's like this character and this character need to be good or if you start with spade that was the big thing for this run that's why we got to play an aggressive curse and things like that you click on if you have spade as your opener oh man he just he makes you unable to lose it's very strong thanks for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave me a like subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one have a good one